So guys, today we're customizing my wallet. Let's go. So this is the final product. So the first step is use nail polish remover to take away all like the wipe away all the residue i don't know what it's called but like something like that but yeah to like take out like the coat so yeah let's do that don't forget your safety get some gloves and a painting mat a painter's mask so because this has strong chemicals so you want to make sure you're protecting yourself so next step you want to get a little piece of sandpaper 400 grit and 600 grit well this step is optional the acetone you have to do it this step is optional but it'll prepare the surface even better because in my opinion the prep is the most important part so you're just gonna do it in a circular motion and yeah let's get let's get to sanding so guys now that we sanded in acetone look how it's looking it's like it looks scuffed up but don't worry if it's scuffed up you know, even if you're working on a pair of Air Force Ones, it's mo most likely if you did the process correctly, even if you didn't, um, it's going to look differently for everything. So if you're doing it on a wallet, it's going to look different. If you do it on a on Air Force One, it's going to look different. Maybe it's scuffed up. Maybe other ones aren't as scuffed up. It just really depends. But yeah, mine is really scuffed up. You guys can just focus, focus, focus. Yeah, it's just scuffed up. So yeah, but now the best part, let's get into the painting process. So first, I'm just, I took off the gloves and the mask. I'm gonna add a little piece of red vinyl tape on the little silver piece, just because I don't want to touch that. But, so yeah, let's do that real quick. So before we get started, I'm just gonna put a quick piece of red vinyl tape on this little metal piece, because I just don't wanna, I don't want this to get like colored. I want it to stay nice, shiny, and silver. So real quick, I'm just gonna go in with an X-Acto knife and like, get the piece and put it like you'll see you guys can see i already did that um, it's not the cleanest but it doesn't have to be super clean so yeah if any paint gets on it i'll just clean it up but now it's time for the painting process So today I'm using, wait, today I'm going to be using white Andalus paint to paint a base layer. So let's do that. So now that I did our base color, which was white, or it's like, so basically why I put white, because I'm going to put this Angela's gift box blue over it, Wait. gift box blue over it, I want this color to pop more, so I put white so it makes it pop more, if I put it over black, it's going to take more coats, and it's going to be a little bit more complicated, but if now that I put the white layer, it's like a base to put, make, put this, and it's going to look even better, so let's paint this, ready, three, two, one, so you guys, I painted it and it's, like, it's already late at night. Not super late, it's like 10, 15 maybe. But yeah, the last part is the design. So my design, just the camera, is to do like a camo design but with blue. So wait, let me get the colors. Basically the color I'm going to be using is this blue. And it's like greenish. So they're two different colors, trust me. One of them is just darker, but it's gonna look good. So, and then I'll get into like a outline, kind of like cartoon effect. So let's do that. So guys, it's 11, like 55. But this is the final product. So yeah, let me, let me know what you guys think. Yeah, I'm pretty tired, I'm gonna go to sleep. Just brush my teeth, go to sleep. But yeah. Before we guys go, make sure to like, subscribe, and after you subscribe, make sure to click the bell so you can be notified every time we make fire videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out. Catch you guys on the next one.